Hello dear friends. In this session we are going to understand how to capture image from camera in Android. We are also going to understand how to request permission from user in, our, in your application. So here a project of category empty activity is added in Android Studio. So let's start how to how to capture image from camera and how to display it on image view. So for that I am going to design a simple user interface for getting image. So I am changing the linear layout of my activity main.xml file. I am specifying the orientation as a vertical so that I will be able to add the image view and button view one after another. So first I am going to add image view on this activity. So I'm specifying the width as match parent and height as height as something like uh, 300 dp. Now I'm going to specify margins of this layout. So I'm specifying margin as 20 dp. For getting image and assigning image on this image view, we need to uh, specify the id to this so i'm specifying the idea as image one then after that i'm going to design a simple button below this image view so i'm creating button here specifying the width as match parent and height as wrap content then i'm going to specify the text on this button as take image from camera image from camera I'm going to specify the text as take image from camera text size as 12 point and uh, ID as 1 now once this particular button is clicked I want to add the on click attribute of this button and I want to call the take image function so I'm going to create this take image function on my main activity so for that I'm just selecting this take activity and choosing this particular option create take image in main activity now the take image function is created here <coughs> creating image from camera what is required is we require to assign the permission that is required for your application so permission first will add the necessary permission that is required for your application in manifest file so i am moving towards the manifest android manifest.xml and i am using the permission as camera now this camera permission requires the feature called Android hardware camera and this is required equal to true required equal to false so these two permissions this feature and permission is required for getting image from camera now we request for the permission to user so on this on create function once this application is being loaded we'll ask for the permission to user before asking the permission to user first we'll check whether the permission is granted to this application to check the permission the grant we'll check the permit camera permission is granted to this application we can write the code like this check self permission and the permission that we want to check is manifest dot permission dot camera now in front of that we can compare whether the permission is granted so for that I am comparing this with package manager manager dot permission granted package manager dot permission granted if this is the case it means the permission is granted to your application if there is no permission is granted to your application then you have to request for the permission so user will provide 
access of camera to your application with this request permission function so this permission takes two parameter one is permission array and second one is request code we'll create a permission array in main activity so i'm going to create a simple string array permission and in that i'm going to assign the permission as manifest dot permission dot camera so this is the permission that we required so i added this permission in this permission array so i can specify this permission array here so if any many number of permissions are required for your application those permissions you can list in this array so you can request all this permission at a time also so i am specifying the code for this this code is necessary request code is necessary so this is the code that will check for the permission whether the permission is already granted to your application and if it is not granted it will ask for the permission from user and if user allowing the permission grant the permission then and then only will able to take the image from camera so now to open the camera activity or getting the camera application to, to open the camera or to start the camera application so we can start this using intent so here i am creating the object of intent class and to that i am specifying the action as media store dot action image capture action image capture and so i can call the start activity method but instead of calling the start activity method i am going to call start activity for result start activity it for result and i am passing the intent here and i am specifying the code for this as 600 request code as 600 now i have to override the on activity result function in this class so like the on create function is overridden similar to that you have to override the on activity result to override the function in your application you simply have to hit control plus o you will get an uh, dialog box in which you can get the different function that you can override in your application so i am searching for on activity result on activity activity result so this is the function that we need to override on activity result so in this function we have to take the image from camera so this will start an activity for getting image from camera so when this activity is started when the camera application is open you have to capture the image from camera so for that we have to check for the request code if the request code is equal to whatever the request code we have specified here as 600 if the request code is 600 it means so this request is from your application and if the image is captured whatever the image that you want to capture if you capture the image that you have to access that image that you can access using this data object of intent class so i am specifying here data dot get extras extras dot data get extras dot get is an function and we need to specify the key as data key as data so this returns the object of bitmap class so i'm converting it into bitmap bitmap so now i'm creating the object of bitmap class here bitmap b bitmap okay so in this the data will be there in the bitmap 
now we have to assign this data to your image view so first we'll initialize the image view so for getting the image view here we can create the object of image view and whatever the image view that we have designed on this activity main.xml we can access this using this id on this on activity result so now i am specifying here find activity find view by id in r dot id dot image one now to this image view we can set the bitmap resource set the bitmap set bitmap image and uh, we can specify here bitmap now this is the code that you have to write for getting the image from camera and assign it to your image view so now we'll check whether it works fine so i'm going to click on the run application we'll check whether this particular application is working fine now after successful execution of your application you will get an the request permission dialog on your application so here on this dialog you have to choose this while using the app or only this time so i'm choosing here while using this app now you will you have granted the permission you are giving the permission to your application for getting the image from camera now we'll click on this take image from camera button so after that it will open the camera activity now we'll open we'll take an image so i'm going to click on capture button now it capture the image now it shows the ok so when i click on ok so image will be displayed on your image box so in this image view so in this way you can i hope i hope you understand thank you